Kathy and Elliot Lewis on stage. Kathy Lewis, Elliot Lewis, two of the most distinguished names in radio, appearing each week in their own theater, starring in a repertory of transcribed stories of their own and your choosing. Radio's foremost players in radio's foremost plays. Drama, comedy, adventure, mystery, melodrama. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elliot Lewis. Good evening. May I present my wife, Kathy. Good evening, and may I present our guest tonight, Ray Noble. Hello there. Ray was kind enough to join us tonight to help us celebrate our 10th wedding anniversary. For which my heartiest congratulations. Thank you, Ray. Thank you. A few years ago, Elliot and Ray and I made an album of records for Columbia, which we called Happy Anniversary. Ray composed two of the songs in the album and scored and conducted the music, and Elliot wrote the story. And Ray and I got you to sing again. Oh. And since the album's about a young couple who are celebrating their wedding anniversary... And since many of you asked us to do it again for you... Kathy and Ray and I are going to do just that right now. Kathy, Elliot, happy anniversary. Comfortable, dear? Mm-hmm. Fine. The fire too warm? Mm-mm. Happy sixth anniversary. Happy sixth anniversary to you. Sit next to me. Yeah. Six years. Eight years since I met you. <laughs> Remember where we met? At the senior dance. Up at the lake. I guess it is. Gee, I have to go back inside now. I came with Seymour. I should dance at least the last dance with him. Do you want to? No. Do you know something? What? I love you. late to dance anymore. They're almost finished. Well, I... I still have to go in after all. Seymour brought me. But I love you. I know. But I have to go home with Seymour. It's too late. <laughs> They're finished playing. <laughs> See? <laughs> now, come on. I'll take you home. You don't want to go home with him. All right. Good. Come on. Oh. What is it? I haven't got a car. Oh, that's all right. Here, get in the back seat. Come on, hurry. You sure this is all right? Just keep your head down. I'll ride up front. Who with? <laughs> Seymour. gave us a cookbook for a wedding present. A year to the day after our first date. Uh, remember our honeymoon? Uh -huh. We went to Havana. We got on the boat right after the ceremony. It wasn't a very nice day. Oh, I thought it was. I thought it was the most beautiful day I'd ever seen. You want to go below? Not if you don't mind. I like it. I don't want you to catch cold. Oh, I won't. It's warm out. Sure you're not cold. 
A little, I guess. You better put your arm around me. All right. That's better. Now I feel wonderful. Let's get down to our cabin. what you got me for our first anniversary? Uh, first. Let's see. No, I can't remember. <laughs> you came home with a big box. I unwrapped it, and there was another box inside, and I unwrapped it, and there was another box inside of it, and so forth and so on, down to the last teeny box. And that had a little piece of paper in it. Now I remember first anniversary. Paper. <laughs> and on the paper it said, look in my coat pocket. And I did. And there was my ring. That's a very pretty ring, you know. We didn't go out that night. It was a funny apartment we were living in then. Remember how the floor squeaked when we walked around? It squeaked even more when we danced. I like to dance with you. Hmm. Floor squeaks. Never mind. Just dance. tonight. No. I just want to stay in my apartment. Dance with my husband. Hold my ring in the light. Watch it glitter. I love you. Dance with me. Never mind the squeak. Hold me close.
We didn't stay home the next year, though. That's right. We didn't. <laughs> Something funny? <gasps> that was my first glass of champagne. You were the most beautiful girl in the rainbow room. Oh, thank you. We went to New York up to the rainbow room to hear Ray Noble. See, that was a wonderful anniversary. And expensive, too. Well, how many second anniversaries do you have? You want anything, honey? No. Uh-uh. I just want to look at my handsome husband. You know, this is the first time I've ever seen you in dinner clothes. Oh, pardon me. The captain told me you were celebrating your anniversary with us tonight, so I wanted to offer my congratulations. Why, thank you. Won't you sit down with us, Mr. Noble? Uh, thanks, but I'm due on the stand with the boys. Uh, is there something you'd especially like to hear? Uh, yes, please. You'd be so easy to love. Oh, delighted. Excuse me? Yes, sure. Your champagne, sir. Champagne? Compliments of Mr. Noble. Happy anniversary, darling. A very happy anniversary, darling. You mean that fat, bald chap? Uh-huh. I think I know him from somewhere. How could you possibly know or have known such an unattractive man? Oh, you're teasing no, me. No, I'm perfectly serious. He's remarkably overweight and hairless, isn't he? You know him. He has a very nice car, lovely back seat. Oh, it's Seymour. <laughs> <laughs> Have you some money? Yes. Why? <laughs> I have to pay the check. You are listening to Kathy and Elliot Lewis on stage. Tonight's play, Happy Anniversary. Or to be in England for the coronation. But you don't have to go abroad to get complete, exciting coverage of all the events that will take place June 2nd when Queen Elizabeth is crowned in Westminster Abbey. All you have to do is stay right where you are on CBS Radio, and world-famous newscasters will give you an eyewitness account of all the goings-on in the streets of London, the procession to Westminster Abbey, and the actual coronation. Edward R. Murrow, Robert Trout, and Lowell Thomas will join CBS Radio European chief Howard K. Smith and Paul Niven in London for the great event. The ears of the world will be tuned to CBS Radio on June 2nd for a detailed description of the people in England, the great festivities, and the actual coronation of Queen Elizabeth. As you listen on CBS Radio, you'll feel as though you're right there in London for the coronation of the Queen. And now part two of Happy Anniversary, starring Kathy and Elliot Lewis on stage. started this. Why, honey? I don't like remembering the year after we went to the Rainbow Room. That was the anniversary we weren't together. But well, we're so lucky, honey. I came home. I know. Remember the letter you wrote to me about the rain? I remember. I still have it. I carried it with me all through the war. My darling, it's raining out. It's raining so hard that there's a little river running right down the middle of our street. I feel kind of sad. 
because I think of how warm and comfortable our home is and how wet and miserable your life must be when it rains this hard over there. I'm so lonely for you. Since the night of the school dance, you've been my life. And I guess always I was waiting for you. I hadn't anyone. Until you. I was a lonely one. could be someone in this funny old world just meant for me. Now I see I had to save my love just for you. I never gave my love until you it's very late now my darling if it's raining there you tell whoever's in charge that your wife said please to wear your rubbers. up the fire. It's getting kind of cold. Why, sure. Now that better? Mm-hmm. Warmer and prettier. The next year I was home again. Oh, yes. Home again. And we were together. And then we went to your mother's house in New Orleans. New Orleans. And the Mardi Gras. Oh, the Mardi Gras. That was really a gay welcome home. Makes me feel very rested. Let's walk toward the view carré.
a disagreement. Yes. We wouldn't have had it except for me. No, it was my fault. No, it was mine. I was a poor sport. Well, anyway, we went out on the town and I had a few too many. You kept asking for yesterdays everywhere we went. Isn't that a pretty song? Mm-hmm. I thought so before I heard them play it. Well, here's looking at you. Happy anniversary. Waiter, another round. Oh, honey, honey, don't you think we've had enough? One more little drink here and then we'll leave. This is much better than the last place because those birds in the cages are very colorful. Waiter. Now, that's enough. If you order another drink, you do it without me. What's the matter with you? Honey, we've had enough. And besides, I have a headache. I want to go home. Then go home? I'm not stopping you from going home. All right. That's just what I will do. And I think maybe you'd better go to a hotel tonight. Good night. Have a good time. And good night to you. Waiter. Waiter. Now, this place is the best, honey. Oh, she's gone. I'm a lonely man without a friend in the world. What a lovely song. my husband, waiter. I've been following him around all evening. What's he trying to prove? Anniversary. He's celebrating our wedding anniversary. He did it a little too hard, that's all. Come on, honey. Let's go home. Fire's dying. Should I fix it? No, leave it. Late anyway. All right. Kiss me. Mm -hmm. Am I a success? Mm-hmm. Listen. It's the last dance again. You came with me this time. You dance it with me. All right. I've had a lovely time at the dance. Thank you for bringing me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and the corsage was beautiful. Gardenias are one of my favorite flowers. Next time it'll be orchids. A dozen of them. Long stem. Silly. <laughs> Look, the fire is almost out. It's been a wonderful evening. I think every year is our nicest anniversary. Look, the fire looks like a horse. Mm hmm. With nine legs. If I knew his name, I'd make a two dollar show bet on it. <laughs> Let's sit and watch. All right.
Vicky. In bed. Good night. Happy anniversary, starring Kathy and Elliot Lewis on stage. In a moment, Mr. and Mrs. Lewis will tell you about next week's play. This Friday night, there's music in the air that's really in the air because the program will be devoted to melodies of outer space and out of this world. The moon and stars, the deep blue sea, and other such out-of-the-way locales familiar to lovers will be serenaded in fine style by your baritone host, Donald Richards, by the rest of the Music in the Air cast, and by Alfredo Antonini and his orchestra. That's this Friday night on most of these same CBS radio stations. And now, once again, Kathy and Elliot Lewis. All of our thanks tonight to one of the most gifted musicians we know, Ray Noble. He wrote The Very Thought of You and Good Night, Sweetheart. He orchestrated all of the music you just heard, and he conducted the orchestra. And, in answer to your questions, he wrote our theme song. And happy anniversary is where it first appeared. And thank you both. Manny Klein was the trumpeter in Havana when we were on our honeymoon. And Red Nichols joined us in New Orleans. But all of the men and women in the orchestra were outstanding. We're late, though, and there were 29 of them. Next week, Kathy and Elliot will do a new adaptation of Anton Chekhov's The Bear, written for them by Walter Brown Newman. Until then, they say to all of you, thank you for listening, and good night. Music for tonight's story was arranged and conducted by Ray Noble, and the program is transcribed and directed by Mr. Lewis. George Walsh speaking. America's 45 million radio families listen most to the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>